Hello and welcome to another video. Today in this video I'm going to talk about how to make custom layers in TensorFlow. Entire source is published online and with explanation, please check the link below in description. For this tutorial we recommend using tf.keras as a high-level API for building neural networks. That said, most TensorFlow APIs are usable with eager execution. Most of the time when writing code for machine learning models you want to operate at a higher level of abstraction than individual operations and manipulation of individual variables. Many machine learning models are expressible as the composition and stacking of relatively simple layers, and TensorFlow provides both a set of many common layers. Most of the time when writing code for machine learning models you want to operate at a higher level of abstraction than individual operations and manipulation of individual variables. Many machine learning models are expressible as the composition and stacking of relatively simple layers, and TensorFlow provides both a set of many common layers as well as easy ways for you to write your own application-specific layers either from scratch or as the composition of existing layers. TensorFlow includes the full Keras API in the TF. Keras package and the Keras layers are very useful when building your own models. The full list of pre-existing layers can be seen in the documentation. It includes dense, a fully connected layer, CLNV2D, LSTM, batch normalization, dropout, and many others. The best way to implement your own layer is extending the TF. Keras. Layer class and implementing. Underscore underscore init underscore underscore, where you can do all input independent initialization. Build where you know the shapes of the input tensors and can do the rest of the initialization. Call, where you do the forward computation. Note that you don't have to wait until build is called to create your variables. You can also create them in underscore underscore init underscore underscore. However, the advantage of creating them in build is that it enables late variable creation based on the shape of the inputs the layer will operate on. On the other hand, Creating variables in underscore underscore init underscore underscore would mean that shapes required to create the variables will need to be explicitly specified. Overall code is easier to read and maintain if it uses standard layers whenever possible, as other readers will be familiar with the behavior of standard layers. Many interesting layer-like things in machine learning models are implemented by composing existing layers. For example, each residual block in a ResNet is a composition of convolutions, batch normalizations, and a shortcut. Layers can be nested inside other layers. Typically you inherit from Keras model when you need the model methods like model.fit, model.evaluate, and model.save. See custom Keras layers and models for details. One other feature provided by Keras model instead of Keras.layers layer is that in addition to tracking variables, a Keras model also tracks its internal layers, making them easier to inspect. Much of the time, however, models which compose many layers simply call one layer after the other. This can be done in very little code using tf.keras sequential.